In a world where baking was legal, and no police force stopped the crimes of any person seeking baked goods, there was an egg. The egg was wholesome, grade A and full of protein potential. Its name was Eggling. But then, out of nowhere, a gang of three whole eggs beat each other up. Or so they thought. The head of the egg mafia cooked up a plan to bring Eggling out of hiding. Mitch. Ralph, why are you always getting late to our meetings? Well, we all know the plan, right? And Ralph was like, Mamma me, I don't think this is gonna work. And he shook in his boots, his egg boots. But then they all heard, I'm a small egg, I'm a small egg, in a cool, cool world. Because Eggling was a really stupid egg. So the gang went into hiding, and Eggling pops up, but then is terrified. But guess who was even more terrified? Ralph, of course. Because the big whisk was behind the whole scheme. The egg mafia was bamboozled. I've had enough. But then it was too late. The gangs had to gang up on the little Eggling, and they were about to crumble. The eggshell got cracked. Dun, dun, dun. In another place far, far away, another crime was being committed at the Mikrowav Inn, where a silver spoon named Wendy would bring in small children like chocolate and butter into her Mikrowav. Come hither, children, to my Mikrowave. I promise you, you'll get a nice reward. And then the children were all like, yay! But forget this, because this is a musical number, I guess. Of children, so they're ready to but eat. But then the witch slammed them shut because she had a spell called heat that melted the solid children into liquid children. This is the story of the origin of lava cake. It was a sad, sad fate. Our friends were ambushed by a half cup of flour, one and one fourth cup of sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla, and finally it was time for the moment of defeat the whisk and the attacks kept happening. The same thing occurred 2,500 times to scale up for a whole school of baked goods eaters. Then, they were put in the oven to undergo a chemical change. Mwahaha, <laughs> suckers. Didn't they know that when you're at 425 degrees, your proteins denature, meaning that bonds are also broken? Like their shells. The eggs are then solidified, changing from the original liquid state, making the cake firm. I can prove it by these sick graphs. We've got our young child protein here, but after this reaction, he grew up and separated from his other friend, protein. Individual coils spread and uncoiled to bump into one another. You can smell the aroma in the air when it's being baked. Since the individual proteins of the egg bond to each other, it makes the egg thicker because proteins are interconnecting, rather than staying in their once original coils. The bonds form between hydrogen sulfide and iron 2 sulfide give eggs their characteristic smell. The acidity also affects the eggs. The lower pH will have a more sour flavor than the higher base, which will have a more bitter flavor. Since the higher you go on the pH scale, the more bitter things become. The higher pH of 9.2 will make the lava cake taste bitter.